who starred in the assessment, I obtained Miss Peter's vital signs, height and weight, and they're all within normal limits. As she was walking into the room, I assessed her gait, and it was coordinated and normal. Um, she is dressed appropriately for the weather. She's alert and um, conscious, and her speech is clear. All right, so I'm going to walk into the room, shut the privacy, wash my hands. Hi, Miss Peters. I'm Jane, and I'll be your student nurse today. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Well, I'll be performing a full head-to-toe -to -toe assessment on you today, but don't worry. It shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes, so we're just going to jump right into it. Okay. All right. Your skin is consistent with your ethnic background. Do you have some noticeable nevi, but they're all under one centimeter. Do you have any tattoos? No. Okay, good. Um, your face is, I mean, I'm going to touch your hands. All right, your skin is cool and dry. I'm going to check your capillary refill. All right, it's less than one second, so that is good. And now I'm going to check your skin to here. All right, you have good skin to here, so that indicates that you're not dehydrated. All right, your um, head is normocephalic. Your face is symmetric. You have appropriate um, facial expressions for the situation. Your hair is evenly distributed. Now I'm going to just palpate your scalp. All right, you have no obvious lumps or lesions, and... Um, that proved it when I um, palpated your scalp because so I didn't feel any. Did you have any tenderness? No. Okay, good. Your hair was healthy. So now we're going to move on to assessing your eyes. Your um, eyes are symmetric. There's no obvious lesions or abrasions. Um, I'm going to check your pull down on your eyelids and check your conjunctiva. All right, they're clear and your sclera is trying to, trying to white with no um, lesions. Now I'm going to check your black and white ducts. All right, there's no lesion, swelling, or discharge. Did you have any pain? No. Okay, good. I'm not going to check the inside. The internal eye. All right, if you could just stare straight for me, please. All right, your red light is present. Your um, optic disc is creamy yellow, and your veins and arteries are visible and paired. I would do the same assessment on your other eye, but for time purposes, we're just going to do one eye today. We're going to start with some cranial nerve testing, and first I'm going to, um, if you could close your eyes for me and tell me every time you um, feel the cotton swab, if you could just let me know. No, 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 no. Okay, can you smile for me? Oh, that indicates that cranial nerve 5 is intact. Can you smile for me? Brown, puff out your cheeks. Alright, um, squint your eyes. Okay, good. Cranial nerve 7 is intact. Now if we can... Um, I'm going to do the smelling, smelling chart test, so if you can cover your eye and read the um, lowest line that you can. Um, 63925. Okay, this indicates that you have 20-30 vision, and that just means that at 30 feet you can see what someone with 20-20 vision can see at 20 feet. And this also indicates that your cranial nerve 2 is intact. So, we are now going to perform the confrontation test. So if I can get you to cover your eye for me, please. And I'm going to cover my eye. Okay. Now let me know when you can see my light. No. Okay. And now on this eye. Okay. Let me know when you can see my light. No. Okay, good. That indicates that cranial nerve 2 is intact and you have good visual fields. We're now going to do the um, the cover test. So you just stare straight ahead for me. Alright, there is no deviation, so that indicates that cranial nerves 2 and 3 are intact. Now if you can just stare straight ahead for me, I'm going to do the... Um, Corneal light reflex test. Alright, you had um, symmetric light on both um, people, so that indicates that cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 are intact. Okay, and now we're going to do the, um, the diagnostic positioning exam, so if you could just follow my pen line. Okay, you had no... Um, Lid lag or nystagmy, and your um, you have parallel movement, so that indicates that cranial nerves three, four, and six are intact. The last one we're going to do is going to be your um, corneal light um, um, reflex and accommodation test. So if you could just stare straight ahead for me, please. All right, your pupils were equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation, so that indicates that cranial nerves two and three are intact. Okay, so now. I'm done examining your eyes, so now I'm just going to check your sinuses real fast. You have your frontal. Do you feel any pain? All right, you should feel some pressure, but no pain. How about in your maxillary? No. Okay, good. So your sinuses are good. We're now going to move on to your nose. Your nose is midline with no obvious lumps or lesions. I'm now going to um, just fix my and look inside of your nose. Doing okay? 
okay? Yes. Okay, just let me know if you have any problems throughout the assessment. So I'm not going to check the inside of your nose. Alright, your mucosas are pink and white with no bleeding, discharge, or lesions. Your turbinates are consistent with your mucosa. And your um, septum is midline with no perforations, which is good. And like the other exams, we would do it on the other nose, but for time purposes, we're only going to do it on one. So I'm going to throw that away. Okay, we're now going to do, assess your mouth. So I'm going to start by checking for TMJ. So if you could just open up your mouth, protrude it forward and side to side. All right, did you have any pain or discomfort? No. I didn't feel any popping or crepitation, so that indicates you do not have TMJ. So can you um, squeeze your jaw? Okay, you have um, firm, symmetric muscle strength in your jaw, so that is good. We're now going to check the inside of your mouth. Okay, first, before we check the inside of your mouth, I'm going to check another cranial nerve. So if you could just close your eyes for me. I'm going to include one nostril at a time, and can you tell me what you smell? Alcohol. Alcohol. Okay, good. Cranial nerve one is intact. Now we're going to move on to the, to the inside of your mouth. Okay, so if you can open up for me, please. All right, your tongue and frenulum are midline. Your um, Wharton's ducts are not visible. Your mucosa is pink and moist, but stents and ducts not visible. Your hard and soft palate are pink and moist. Your um, posterior pharynx and pillars are pink and moist. Your teeth are clean, healthy, and white. Your uvula is midline, and your um, tonsils are present in 2+. plus. So that is all good. We're now going to test some more cranial nerves. So if you can just um, open up your mouth, protrude your jaw forward. All right, and now close it and open it. Against resistance. All right, cranial nerve five is intact. Can you um, close your eyes and stick out your tongue and tell me what you taste? Okay. Salt. Okay, good. Cranial nerve seven is intact. Now, if I can get you to um, swallow for me, open up your mouth, say ah, ah. Okay. And check your yak reflex. Ah. Okay, good. Your um, tongue and your your frenulum and uvula protruded midline. Your soft palate and uvula both rose midline. Your gag reflex was present, so cranial nerves 9 and 10 are intact. If I can just get you to stick out your tongue for me. All right, your tongue is midline. Can you say light, tight, dynamite? Light, tight, dynamite. Okay, good. Your, um, that indicates cranial nerve 12 is intact because your tongue was midline. Okay. We're now going to move on and assess your ears. We're going to start by, okay, your ears are symmetric. There's no obvious swelling, lesions, or redness. I'm going to palpate your auricles. Tell me if you feel any tenderness. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about your tragus? All right, your mastery process? No. Okay, good. I'm now going to look inside your ears. Okay. Okay, in your ear canal, there is no redness, um, discharge, swelling, or lesions. Your um, tympanic membrane is gray, um, shiny. It's pearly gray, shiny, and translucent. Your um, umbum and manubrium and short process are all visible. And your cone of light is present in your left ear at 7 o'clock. And I would do the same assessment in your right ear. And everything would be the same, but only your cone of light would be visible at the 5 o'clock position, not the 7 o'clock. Okay? So now that we are, um, I'm going to do some more cranial nerve testing. So I'm going to come behind you and cover one ear. If you can tell me what you hear. 1, 2, 3. A, B, C. Okay, that was the whisper test. So cranial nerve 8 is intact. We're now going to move on to the um, liver test, and I'm going to stimulate the tuning fork, place it on your head, and let me know if you can hear it equally in both ears. Yes. Okay, good. Cranial nerve 8 is intact. We're now going to do the Rhiney test. I'm going to once again stimulate the tuning fork, place it on your mastery process, and then in front of your ear, and let me know if you can't hear it at both. No. Okay, air conduction was longer than bone conduction, and that is good. So that indicates cranial nerve 8 is intact. Okay. We're now going to move on and assess your lymph nodes. Okay, I'm going to start with your preauricular, your postauricular, your occipital, your submental, your submandibular, your submental, your tonsillar, your superficial cervical, your deep cervical chain, your posterior cervical, and your supraclavicular. 
All right, I didn't feel any swelling of the lymph nodes. Um, did you have any pain or discomfort? No. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to assess your trachea. All right, your trachea is midline. Now I'm going to come behind you and feel for your thyroid. All right, can you turn your head slightly to the right and forward and swallow for me? All right, your thyroid was not palpable. Did you feel any pain or discomfort? No. Okay, good. Now I'm going to um, feel your carotid arteries. All right, they feel smooth and 2+. plus. I'm now going to osculate them for any bruise, your right and your left. All right, I did not hear any bruise, so that is good. We're now going to move on to, um, I'm just going to fill your trapezius and your sternomastoid muscles. All right, they are equal. And now if you can just tilt your head a little bit and um, lift up against my resistance. Okay, good, that indicates that cranial nerve 11 is intact. Now we're going to do some range of motion tests on your neck, so if you can just lean forward and touch your chin back. All right, full range of motion, flexion, extension. Can you touch your ear to your shoulder? All right, full range of motion, lateral bend. Can you look side to side? All right, full range of motion, um, rotation. I did not feel any crepitation. Did you have any pain or discomfort? Okay, so you have full range of motion in all your neck muscles. We're now going to move on and listen to your heart sounds. Okay. We're going to start by listening to your aortic, and that is at your second right inner space. Okay. Your pulmonic, second left inner space. Your um, tricuspid, your, um, at your um, fifth intercostal. Okay, and then your, um, along your sternal border. All right, and then your mitral and your um, fifth interspace midclavicular line. Okay. I'm just going to check my notes real fast and make sure that we have that correct. Okay, I'm just going to redo the cardiac real fast. Okay, so we have your aortic at your second right interspace. Your pulmonic at your second left inner space, your mitral at your um, left lower sternal border, and your um, tricuspid at your uh, mid clavicular line, fifth inner space. Okay, so that all sounded good. I didn't hear any murmurs. It was all sounded regular. Um, your S1 was heard throughout, but it was heard lattice at the base, and your S2 was heard throughout, but it was heard lattice at the apex. So that's all normal findings. I'm now going to come around back, and we're going to move on to your lungs. I'm just going to place my hands on your back. Can you take a deep breath for me? All right, you have symmetric expansion, which is great. I'm now going to um, check your costo barabrial. You should feel a slight thud, but no pain. This is just to check your kidneys, so. Did you feel any pain? No. Okay, good. I'm now going to percuss, or I'm now going to check your tactile for Midas. Can you say 99 every time you feel my hands? 99, 99, 99, 99. 99. Okay, you had symmetric tactile for Midas. Now I'm just going to per percuss for um, resonance. Okay, I heard um, symmetric sounds throughout. I didn't hear any hyper resonance or dullness, so that was good. And now I'm just going to go back and listen to the same areas of your lungs. any um, crackling or wheezing and I heard symmetric sounds throughout so that's really good now we're just gonna um, I'm gonna now do your anterior um, heart sounds we're gonna start with your bronchial okay now your um, vesicular okay now your bronchovesicular all right your breath sounds were clear so that is good now that we're done with that, we're going to move on to your stomach. So if I, um, and if I can get you to lay back for me and pull up your shirt, we're going to now assess your abdomen. All right, your um, abdomen is flat. Your um, 
Umbilagus is inverted and midline. Your skin is smooth with some noticeable nevi, but they're all um, under one centimeter, so that is good. I'm now going to um, listen to your bowel sounds, starting with your right lower quadrant. Okay, your bowel sounds were present. They're high pitched and gurgling, so that's good. Now we're going to um, percuss in the same quadrants. Okay, I did hear some dullness over your liver and some tiffany over your stomach, which is completely normal findings. We're now going. I'm now going to palpate your abdomen, starting with some light palpations, and this is just to get a feel for your stomach. Let me know if you feel any pain or discomfort. Alright, did you feel any pain or discomfort? No. Okay, good. I didn't feel any um, distension, rigidity, or masses, so that is all great. I'm now going to press a little bit harder to get a feel for, and deeper palpations to get a feel for your organs. Let me know if you feel any tenderness. Did you have any tenderness? No. Okay, your um, spleen, kidneys, and liver were not palpable. Your um, carotid artery is... Um, three centimeters wide with an anterior pulse, which is good. Now I'm just going to listen to your um, aortic, renal, iliac, and um, femoral arteries on your right and left side. Okay. So, right aortic, left aortic, have your right renal, your left renal, your left iliac, right iliac, more. Okay, good. I did not hear any brewy, so that is all great. So if we can just cover you back up. We're now going to, um, you can stay live now. We're going to do some um, range of motion tests on your hip. So if I can just get you, we're going to um, flexion and extension. All right, did you feel any discomfort or pain? Okay, I didn't feel any popping or cavitation, so you feel range of motion there. We're going to do abduction. And abduction. Any pain? No. Okay, no pop popping or crepitation. We're going to do um, expert and invert. Any popping, pain, no. popping or crepitation? Okay, so I didn't feel any popping or crepitation. So you have full range of motion in your legs. We would do the same assessment to the other side if we had time. Okay, so now if you want to um, sit up, I'm now going to um, inspect your legs. All right, um, first we're going to, before I inspect your legs, I'm just going to do some more um, range of motion tests. Can you plantar flexion down? All right, Dorsey flex up. All right, invert in, expert out. All right, I didn't feel any popping or crepitation. Did you have any pain or discomfort? Okay. Um, so um, now we're going to do your um, legs. They have, um, they're symmetric. There are no obvious limps or lesions, or um, there's no swelling or edema. I'm now going to palpate them. All right, you have um, bilateral warmth, your muscles, feel symmetric. Um, there's no swelling, edema, heat, or anything, so that is good. Uh, um, we're now going to um, check your pulses in your foot. All right, your dorsalis pedis is 2 plus and symmetric. All right, your posterior tibial, also 2 plus and symmetric, which is really good. So now we're just going to check your muscle strength. If you can push against me. All right, resist me. Okay, good. You have symmetric um, muscle strength. So now I'm just going to check your reflexes. Alright, your patellar. Alright, your reflexes are symmetric and 2 plus. Now your Achilles. Alright, also symmetric and 2 plus. So, we're now going to move on to your arms. Okay, your arms are symmetric. There is no obvious um, redness, swelling, edema, or um, lesions or abrasions. I'm now going to palpate your arms. All right, your epitracheal lymph nodes are not um, the, um, palpable, which is really good. Um, you have bilateral warmth. There's no swelling, edema, um, or lesions or lumps. Okay, now if you can um, put your arms up like this, we're gonna test your muscles. Resist me. All right, push you. Okay, you have um, you had I felt symmetric muscle strength, and it was proven by that that your muscles are symmetric. All right, we're now going to do some range of motion testing on your arms. So I'm going to come behind you. And for this one, too, we're also, for time purposes, only going to do one side. So if you want to abduct out, abdu abduct in, 
All right, flexion, hyperextension. All right, circumduction, around in a circle. Okay, now we're going to, um, if you can invert or um, extrovert, touch your hand to your head. All right, and now your um, back of your hands to your back. All right, good, you have full range of motion there. All right, now I'm going to check your pulses. Can you just take them out? All right, we have your brachial pulse, which is two plus and symmetric. Your radial pulse, which is also two plus and symmetric, which is really good. Now we're going to um, check your um, deep tendon reflexes in your arm. All right, we have your, um, um, we're going to start with your tibial, this way, okay? All right, we got your tibial and we got your um, brachial. If you could do that. Okay, good, those are both two plus and <laughs> symmetric. Now, if I can just get you to stand up for me. Um, okay, just stand up for me. Um, we're going to do some more range of motion tests on your elbows. So if you can just put up for flexion, down for extension. Okay, pronate, supinate. Okay, did you have any pain or discomfort? Okay, I didn't feel any crepitation, so that was good. So now we're going to get you to touch your toes for flexion, up for extension. All right, no popular crepitation was felt. Did you have any pain or discomfort? Okay, your spine was also straight, and you have full range of motion there. So now we're going to do your knees, so if you can just put your knee up and out. Okay, I didn't feel any popular interpretation. Did you have any pain or discomfort? Okay, good. Now we're going to do some neuro neurological testing. So if you just close your eyes for me, please, we're going to do the Romberg's test, and I'm just checking for excessive swaying. Okay, good. No excessive swaying. Notice that was a negative Romberg's test. Now if you can stand on one knee and then hop to the other. All right, you have good coordination. Now we're going to do the tandem walking test, so if you can just put heel to foot for about three to four steps and then go backwards the same way. Okay, good. You have good balance and coordination. So now we're going to, um, I'm just going to grab some that's right on your hand, bud. Can you close your eyes for me, please? Um, stick out your hand. I'm going to write a number on there. Tell me what the number is. Seven. Okay, good. And that was the genostasis test. And now I'm just going to, can you close your eyes for me, please, and stand, stick out your hand? I'm going to place an object in your hand. Can you um, tell me what that object is? Penny. Okay, and that was the sternogenesis test. And um, you did great on both of those. So now if you can just take a seat for me. Okay, we're going to do the, um, before you sit back down, we're going to do, um, can you touch your fingers to your hands? And this is called the rapid movement test. Okay, good. You have um, good coordination and movement. So if you could just take a seat for me, please. I'm going to um, just make sure I checked everything that the doctor wanted me to check. Okay. It just may be a minute, so let me know if you need anything. Okay. I just wanted to clear things up and let you know that when you were taking your range of motion for this way, it was called your internal and external range of motion. You have full of that. 
And when I was checking your um, deep tendon reflex, it was called, it was your tricep and bicep deep tendon reflex. And those were both good. I just wanted to let you know that that's what they were called. I'm just going to check my, my notes one more time and make sure we have everything. We've covered everything today. All your results were normal and everything looks good. Is, do you have any questions or anything? No. Okay, good. Thank you for being so cooperative and good. So, thank, thank you.